Remember when a band of raiders were one dude with a club? Yeah, now they all have rocket launchers. Significantly harder to deal with. So what we're gonna do is this. Sorry, not there. We move this down a little bit, I think. Uh, who has a who has a gun? LMG cleaning trash. Yeah, come here. Extreme break risks. Yeah. Hey, uh, disposables up. Oh, thank you. What are you doing, disposable? Disposable, you're a cleaner, which means Lieutenant Dan does not need to clean anymore. So the turret can barely not shoot down the hallway from where they are. Lieutenant Dan also can barely not shoot down. If I was to move everything down three, if I was to move everything down two, it'd be very freaking close. I really should move everything down three. Okay, thank you, Lieutenant Dan. Um, so yeah, reinstall this. Hold on. I'm gonna put the doors here, which means that these all have to go down one more. Wanna try to get this set up slightly better slash in a way where everyone can hit the enemies would be nice. So I'm just gonna do this. They're gonna move all these traps over ever so slightly. Bark, bark. I'm gonna do the same thing with doors, because I, I like the door strat. It, it seems to work well. It definitely doesn't seem like, it definitely doesn't seem like we are uh, losing any line of sight, or at least not that much. Kind of like it. Slaughter the red, ro red rogues so they stop harassing you. But I need people to join me, so I need them to actually occasionally want to attack me. It's working fine from my perspective right now. Major break risk on you because you observed a corpse. Ah, you you burned him. You'll you'll be fine. Hungry, unsightly. We need to build more art, but we have no one who's good at making art. I would rather just find someone who's good at art and get them on my team. I feel like that would be the much more efficient option. Raccoon self-tamed! Oh my lord, I hate this self-tamed stuff. <laughs> Major break risk, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I as a cool is like, alright, fine, I'll go kill this thing. <laughs> Don't bring it inside or anything, that'd be too much effort. Alright, all the package survival, meal survival meals are there. They're almost done cooking, which means that they will, I think, do butchering, finally. I will be happy when that happens. Also gonna deconstruct this. You construct some walls here so we have better line of sight into the, the kill box corridor. Five more prepared meals and then they should do butchering. I need a designated hunter butcher. I do have one. Save. If I... Yeah, mining first, hunting second, but we can we can put him on hunting first. If I choose something to hunt, he's gonna go after it. Unfortunately, there's nothing to hunt right now because it's the middle of frickin' winter. And honestly, I should probably have a second hunter. Cargo pods. Rice? I'll bring it in. Animals will get to it. 
Um, so who's our current hunter? Save for Dacula? I'd rather him do research. Hayazakul could do it. Yeah, Hayazakul. What's your current gun? SMG? Or LMG, rather? Yeah, equip a sniper rifle. You can be a secondary hunter. Hunts everything and then butches it instead of leaving it. Oh, I mean, they bring it back to the freezer and then it just waits there until the cooks are done. The cooks will do the butchering when they have nothing else to do. Fertilized chicken egg? Ruined by temperature! Oh. Well, I mean, I guess we should have not fertilized chicken eggs be stored in here. How's that gonna work? Does it count as unfertilized now? That's really what it should happen, because I think it's gonna be a little bit of a pain to micromanage the bills. <laughs> Might want to build a second butcher's table, actually. Build a copy. We'll build a... Megasloth. What's, what's Megasloth's skin? Plain leather? It says amount, it doesn't say what it actually is. Whatever, they'll, they'll butcher. Mmm, egg. Frozen egg. Delicious. But just table is kind of far away from this. And actually, we can put the fermenting barrels somewhere else. Fermenting barrels and brewery. Maybe put them up here. Have a slightly bigger kitchen area. Or put the butchering area right here. Which actually seems a little better. Yeah, we'll put the, um, the brewery here. Put the kegs up in here. Up in here. There we go. Don't like this door being here now, but we'll deal with it. They are making hops. I don't know why they haven't been doing this before. Oh, because the only people doing it are the cooks. Yeah, I see. I guess it makes sense, I, I do want them to prioritize meals first, but if there's no meals to be made, we should have them do beer stuff. So maybe I will build a, a secondary brewery. Actually, it, it, it takes so little time. You know, we can have w one butchery, one brewery, and then they'll both get the stuff done. I like that idea. We don't need two of each. I like it. Good temperature? Good temperature. Food binge, twig breaker. Why is it so warm in here? 62 degrees inside? I guess it's just warm inside. It's fine with me. What do we have? Heavy fur, lots of heavy fur. Let's make another heavy fur. Furniture, chair, there we go. Maybe I should also have not Lieutenant Dan. Why are you unconscious? Oh, go juice. Maybe I should not have him make all of the parkas in the world because I would like to make beds and stuff, like animal sleeping beds. A soft bed for an animal. Immunity gain speed factor. Okay, so we should be building these, I guess. All right, you know what? Heavy fur animal bed. We'll build like a whole bunch. There we go. Build a whole bunch of them. We'll uh, move the heater. Put it there. And, uh...
Move this heater. Move the door. Masterwork? Heavy fur animal bed. Heck yeah. Rest effectiveness, effectiveness 125%. Good, good stuff. Reinstall, put this here. Reinstall. No. <laughs> Excuse me. Cancel that light. We don't need two lights in here. We can move this one. I don't know where to move that one. Put that one there, uninstall this one, good enough. Going for a walk. Get back to work. At least now all the animals are sleeping in one area, and if we have kibble, they'll all just eat the kibble as soon as they wake up. How are we making kibble again? We're making kibble out of hay and nothing else, that's not how that works. You should make kibble out of hay and like potatoes. Any vegetables will work. And we should make it out of hay and crappy meat and vegetables. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit wonky with this. The first one, I mean, what we can do is copy this and paste it. There you go. So the first kibble is going to be only hay and garbage meats. Nothing else. The second one is going to be hay. Optionally garbage meats. and vegetables, because we can easily get vegetables. And then the third one is going to be any acceptable thing, which is meats, vegetables, animal products, but we don't want it to ha go forever. Do we? Hold on, I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> Garbage meats, hay, veg, Raw meat and plants. So we actually do need meat, not hay. Hay probably takes the place of vegetables, huh? Hey, Moobler. How you doing? That was a quick ban, Moobler. <laughs> so freaking quick. Oh my lord. I don't know what I'm doing with this kibble. Like, garbage meats. And hay. Hay, veg, garbage meats. Hay, veg, all meats. I mean, that works, but I don't really want it to go forever. Is the thing... Like, anything that has garbage meat, I want to go forever. Because it's garbage. Garbage meat, hay. Garbage meat, veg. Forever. And then kibble. We should do this until we have like a thousand. Using any ingredients. Okay, that'll work. I think. Because we're going to need kibble if we have animals. We might as well make it. There you go. Raid! Transport pods nearby. Mechanoids. I mean, we know how to handle mechanoids. We did it before. We can do it again. And we have a slightly better setup, I believe. Unfortunately, everyone has to get up. And everyone who can hold on to armor and whatnot, we'll just be equipping the armor. I think you can wear a helmet. You should wear a helmet. 
Are we ready? I think we're ready. Save, get up. You should have no flak equipment on, so wear pants, wear a jacket, wear a vest, get in position. Ultimate noob, you can't attack. Fredacula. Put on a vest, put on pants, put on a jacket, get into position. Disposable. You can attack, go equip an LMG, and put on some stuff. Should also make sure to have people uh, equip helmets, if they can. Twig breaker. Pants. Vest. Jacket. Helmet. Hi, that's a cool. You have another sniper rifle. Sniper rifles are pretty good. But we're out of helmets. We do need to get some more helmets, I guess. Lieutenant Dan, you are down for the count because of your go juice addiction. That's okay. Everyone is good to go. They know what they're doing. Let's do it. All scythers. Honestly, I feel like that's best for us because we can just toss EMP grenades and then they'll freaking die. So the armor is getting equipped. Didn't take them too long to get set up, I suppose. Shooting a seven. Shooting 15, shooting 10, shooting 10, shooting 8, shooting 14. Alright, Hayazakul, you are kind of the odd man out here. Go ahead and grab EMP grenades and then just kind of like go over here. Oh, 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 oh! All animals! Hey, uh, get inside. <laughs> it's kind of important. I don't know how these guys, they must have been like chasing down an animal or something over here and who went in. I don't know if they killed an animal or what, I wasn't paying that much attention. I thought that they were st Oh! I know what it is! Shit! Several separate groups are attacking nearby. There are so many more scythers than I thought there was gonna be. Holy shit. Hunter lacks range weapon. Dude, get your grenades and get your ass in here. In fact, I'm just gonna have him stand here and just like toss grenades in at this point. Death Rooster. Rooster has been cut to death. The door's open! You freaking dead rooster piece of garbage! Why is the door open? Oh my fucking god. Well, the scythers are gonna come in. Probably. Please just throw the grenade. Now, I hate that you're standing in front of all the bullets, especially when you don't have a helmet on. I can limit the likelihood of you getting shot though a little bit. Now, unfortunately, that plasteel turret is going to be destroyed, but that's kind of what it's there for. It's there to draw aggro. And luckily that door actually closed. Holy shit. Steel turret's gone down. All right, more scythers incoming. We'll get Plasteel for doing this, so I don't really care about losing a turret or two. LMG range is perfect right there. I don't have to stun them all. Hey, you guys. Shoot this one. Ah. 
Ah, freaking damn rooster. This did not go that badly. Azakul was a little slow getting the EMP grenades, but that's okay. We did lose a lot of uh, sandbags, but that's kind of the point. They get shot before anything else does. <laughs> Alright, that was not that bad. Hey, Azakul, are you a hunter? You are my replacement hunter. Everyone else... Clear your forced gear. Except for high Azakul, because you're going to get that sniper rifle equipped. And everyone else is just going to go do some jobs. Alright, that was not too bad at all. We will need to... Uh, rebuild some of the sandbag. Well, I guess they're already set for construction. We have 15 dead scythers. Holy crap. What happened to the mortars? Uh, we're, I'm just wait, waiting on getting ammo for them. Which we can actually do right now. Chem fuel from wood. Do until you have, let's say like 2,000. You're going to need a lot. Pause when satisfied. Unpause when you have 1,800. Radius, 50. Now, who, who does this? Crafters. Okay, well, crafters will eventually come up here and then make biofuel out of any wood that we have. We have a lot of wood right now. We're going to be getting more as time goes on. Could even say, hey, chop some wood. Maybe have them chop these trees over here. There are a lot of trees that we could chop. Chop, chop, chop. So have those get chopped. Fantastic. Now, our rooster is dead. Which means we only have a hen. Which means that we do not want to ruin fertilized eggs that we have. But, unfortunately, it's hard to do. Raw resources, foods, raw food, animal products, fertilized. Now, I don't want fertilized eggs in here because I want them to be left outside so that they can hatch. So, what we want is we want a zone. I mean, the kibble zone will do it, probably. But we want a zone. I'm not going to put it there. <laughs> I want a zone where I can put chicken eggs. Right here. Clear all. Fertilize eggs. We'll go there and then hopefully they'll hatch. 65 degrees. I don't know what the proper temperature is for an egg. But we only have the one hen now because the rooster is dead. Whatever. Good enough. <clears throat> Good lord, that's a lot of scythers, but that's a lot of plasteel, that is a lot of components. You know, I actually kind of do like having a second set of, do of doors. If we need to, we can f defend ourselves from the backside. Not easily. But I guess we could always just walk to the other side of the doors anyways, and it would work equally well. So yeah, maybe I will just deconstruct this line. Get those resources back. Deconstruct this wall. Worry about that stuff later. Okay. Hmm. A little bit of a problem here. We have way too many uh, blocks in order to put them. Well, there is a way of handling that. Oops. Rare thrombos! No way in hell are we a high enough level on high as a cool. <laughs> it would be cool. Yeah, not even close. Honestly, I might want to try to attack some thrombos. Because if we attack some thrombos, we could kill them. Thank you. 
They are very tough, though. So maybe we'll ignore that for the time being. It is going to come in greater and greater groups, but I really just want thrombos for my own team, ideally. Masterwork heavy fur animal bed. Stupid raccoon. You think we should go for the thrombos? Ooh, muffalos need to be hunted. I mean, we have people who can run back through the base, but are the turrets good enough to kill them? I don't know if they are. Thrombos might, thrombos might get into the base and try to kill us. By the way, what was I doing? I was doing this. Priority, low. Priority, low. These are just stockpile zones for garbage that I have lying around that I don't know what to do with. And we can put... Stone blocks in here, and so if there's no room here, they'll just go there. Tame them first. I can't tame them. I literally have no one who's capable of taming them. But I could try shooting them and luring them into my turrets and having the turrets kill them, but I don't know if the turrets can kill them fast enough is the problem. I can mortar them. I could mortar them, but I don't know how well that would actually work. Dude, how are you not hitting this guy? Twelve percent chance. Training. No, hunt! Hunt until that muffalo is killed. Oh my god, he finally did it. He hit it. Dude, just stand still and shoot it. How are you this bad? I miss Chev. You could, or I should have say to do it. He can definitely do it. He's playing horseshoes right now. He's playing games when we're trying to hunt. Let's build a few more steel traps. A cave tender is passing by. She's named the White Bat. White Bat, that is an awesome name. Mortar the Mufflows. I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to mortar the Thrumbos, but we need to make chem fuel so we can make mortar shells. We're actually very close to being able to make mortar shells, which I like. And I might want to even move the mortars like up here. We can have like a, a mortar area. I actually really like that idea now that I think about it. Cut these plants, these trees down. We'll move these mortars up here and we'll all have like a little mortar zone set up. All of the ammo for the mortars will be up here. Yoink. It's not going to be a very good... <laughs> ...zone, but... No, don't put these there! Oh my god, freaking dumb dog. Mortar shells, there you go. What is that sound? Oh, I'm making beer. Takes a lot of time to make beer. Final straw was darkness. You're hunting outside. Ugh. These people. These freaking people. All right, is kibble being made? Very slowly. Can be made out of all meats, all veg, all hay. Fredacula, what are you doing? Butchering? And geese, you are asleep. So, kibble's gonna be made. We should possibly consider making fine meals. 
I think it's about time that we make some fine meals. So let's do it. Do until you have, let's say, a hundred. It'll take a long time to make a hundred, but... Oops. But it would be nice to have a mood buff being created just by making better meals. It wastes a very, very sm Actually, it doesn't waste any nutrition. It just takes more time to make, and it requires two different types of ingredients. But we have a lot of ingredients. We have meat, we have veg, we can make it work. So fine meals will be made after this point. Extreme break risk on disposable. Yeah, I mean, that's you're going to have that for a while. A lot of people died in your life, unfortunately. Raid! Separate groups of mechanoids. Where have we heard that before? Animals are currently restricted. Everyone else currently restricted. People can go to restricted. I kind of hate that I didn't really have time to get things set up. Since between this raid and the last raid, I mean, this raid is just happening happening like right now after the last one. That's pretty crazy, but sure. Whatever you say, game. <laughs> Like, people have gotten rid of all of their flack here, right? Yeah, okay. Saith, why are you- oh, he's what? Oh my god, Saith is gonna probably get killed. Because he is not coming inside, and there are centipedes. I mean, there's one centipede. I don't know where the other centipedes are. Why is that guy just out there? I don't know. But I have no idea how I'm gonna handle the situation. As a cool training no. I need more helmets. We can we can make more helmets. Lieutenant Dan is down. Save is there. Save is out and about. He's just gonna get freaking shot, I think. I can, I can try to arrest him, but I can't get there fast enough. He might die? He might get shot. I really do hope that he respects... Uh, this? And gets in? But he's just wandering. He's gonna get shot, like, right now. Yeah, he's, get, he's getting shot at right now. Here they come. That Lancer stopped moving for some reason. And I, I would like to send someone in there to arrest him, to bring him back in, but I don't think that's gonna happen in time. He's getting shot literally right now. Oh my god, please attack the mechanoids. Why would you not attack the mechanoids? You got shot. Also, do you see how little damage that did? Twenty-two percent chance of being shot. I, dude, I don't know. Go try to arrest him. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. This is stupid. But I'm gonna try it anyways. This is extremely stupid. Say you freaking imbecile. Ugh. Right lung destroyed, right eye bitten out. Oh, that didn't happen now. Torso was a very, very painful hit. We're gonna try to get him. We're gonna try to save his fucking life. Oh my lord. Hide. 
How? Sayth, how are you fucking alive? Oh, he did He did not want to be arrested, by the way. All right, Sayth is dead. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Holy shit, that was dumb. I mean, what are you what are you what are you supposed to do about that? Not have your guy have a, a mental break, I suppose. But when he has a mental break outside and doesn't respect the get your ass to Mars protocol of a loud area, you know, oh well. They're here. Didn't think they would be here right now, but they're here. That wall was never rebuilt! Shit! It's not that big of a deal. It's slightly annoying. I think he's also gonna burn up, so we don't even have an opportunity to put him in the freezer. Make statues after dead colony members. I wish I could make a memorial. The only thing I can do is just make a... sarcophagus. I can't make like a... I can't make anything bigger than that, unfortunately. Watching for targets. Move over here, can you shoot from there? Yes, you can. Alright, good spot for Disposable to be in. They are helping us out defensively. We should be able- you should- Oh, all my colony members are gonna be sad. You should be able to provide for your colony and, you know, not let people die. He went out on his own. What was I supposed to do about that? Dude, we really need to clean up the place. That's a very unfortunate place for that guy to be in, but I might be able to sneak in a grenade. If I can get it to land, to stun him, the turrets will be able to kill him, but... I really need to get these walls reconstructed. I forgot to do that. I mean, it's not that I forgot to do that, we just didn't have time to do it, really. Alright, move over there. Eat that. Unfortunate fire. Why is there a fire back here? <laughs> I didn't even notice that one. What the heck happened? I mean, I'm still gonna put him in the sarcophagus, of course. How did he get shot? Right arm shot off, right lung destroyed. Yeah, he didn't have any armor on. I mean, maybe that's one reason I should make sure people have flak armor, if possible. I suppose I got tagged from behind by a turret. I should probably have him move out of the way at this point. There's only one left. He's in a very awkward position. We'll have him come back and keep stunning. Because he's not actually, he doesn't seem to actually be moving out at all. lost a turret. I mean, I mean, we lost a dude. <laughs> but I don't think we lost a turret. Which I guess is pretty good. Ah, <sighs> okay. Everyone. Clear forests. 
Uh, no animals here. Unrestricted here. Disposable you're gonna put on that LMG. You guys are all gonna be no longer walking around. Geese, you are going to go and grab the sniper rifle. I has a cool. Now, who, who can't attack ultimate noob? I'll save inside. Put him in the frickin' freezer. Unfortunate that he ended up kicking the bucket, but that's what it is. We gotta make sure that we have everything that he was doing handled by other people. Now, he was a hunter. He was a miner. He was a hauler. I don't know what else he was doing, honestly, but we have everything else handled. Hunting, mining. Twig Breaker is gonna have a lower priority on planting because of what, what went down, but that's okay. All right, 